Hello guys, today I want to show you one trick how to use debounce in Vue.js 3 to avoid too many server requests. So in one of my courses about Vue.js, above the table I had a search, global search for searching for a few fields. So let's actually refresh that and I will show you the network tab on the right. And whenever I search for something, so letter, 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 the search is performed in the table like this, but every time on every change of the value there's a server request in the code it's a typical watch method so watch for that search global which is input v model search global and then we get the post with all the values of that component and that get post is a function from a composable which i use as a part of the composition api which in turn makes axios get request to the server now how to avoid those too many requests in here for the watch so for example we want to have a request only after half a second after the last keystroke or something like that and for that we will use a library called low dash which is by the way installed by default in any laravel installation so here's low dash in my package json but even if you open the default Laravel, it's not even Vue.js, it's not even Laravel Breeze or Jstream or anything, it's default Laravel, package JSON contains the low dash. So you don't need to install anything if you use the default Laravel installation. And inside of that low dash, if we open the documentation, there is a method called debounce. The description of that method is pretty complex, creates a debounced function that delays invoking function until after wait milliseconds. So it's complicated. Let me show you in practice. So whatever function you have, for example, this method of watch, you add underscore dot debounce. This is your function. So the function itself, the method is the first parameter. And then the second parameter is the amount of milliseconds to debounce. And then we close that debounce. And my PHP storm even suggests that it's weight variable. We save. I have npm run watch in the background, so build successful. Let's reload the page and now let's search for something and wait. We have one request, then one more letter, one more request. But let's type in something faster. And as you can see, there's only one request. So it waits for half a second. What will you type? So for example, if you type for, or even if you delete some records, saw that. So for example, let's try to represent the same laboriosam at something. So there were only a few requests to the server while I was typing. So this is how easy it is to implement the debounce within Vue.js, within Laravel, with Lodash pre-installed in Laravel. If you want to see the full course on that table and filters and all of that, here's the one, Vue.js plus Laravel 9 SPA. So you can check out that course on my laravel.daily.teachable.com or purchase all of my courses with yearly membership. So you will get 28 courses at the moment and then everything I will release for a year ahead. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.